The 1941 Lincoln Continental, priced at $35,000, is a striking street rod. Built on an S10 frame with a Camaro rear end and S10 front end, it boasts a brand new 350 engine with just 350 miles. The car features new gauges linked to the engine, a 700 R4 transmission with overdrive, and can reach 90 miles per hour on the highway with the new AC blowing Arctic cold. Additional features include push-button start, electric windows, and push-button doors, making it an impressive and unique vehicle. The 1946 Ford Super Deluxe, available for $25,000, is a yellow convertible powered by a rebuilt 350 Chevy motor. It runs well with an automatic transmission and is very clean. The mileage is not accurate due to the rebuild, and it does not require a title in New Hampshire due to its age. This car is priced for a quick sale. If you're finding value in what we're sharing, don't forget to like and subscribe. Your support helps us create more great content. Thank you. Priced at $11,500, the 1957 DeSoto Firedome is a four-door sedan with a 341 Hemi V8 engine. It has 73,615 miles, an automatic transmission, power steering, and power brakes. This classic offers a combination of power and comfort. The 1941 Plymouth P12 Special Deluxe, offered at $16,500, features a two-tone mohair and leather interior with chrome accents. It is powered by a straight-six engine and includes a Panasonic radio CD player. This car was purchased from a private owner in Ontario, New York, 12 years ago and remains in beautiful condition.
For $32,000, the 1955 Ford Fairlane Victoria comes with a 312 engine with an automatic transmission and a 12-volt system. The exterior is tropical rose and black, while the interior is like new in black and white. It has wide white walls, firestone tires, fender skirts, and door spotlights. This car runs well with no rust, a straight body, and all glass and windows in good condition. The 1944 Deluxe, priced at $32,000, has an original body and a Camaro subframe. It is powered by a 1975 Cadillac 500 cubic inch engine with a matching automatic transmission. The car includes a new MagnaFlow exhaust, a Bluetooth sound system with a subwoofer, and a 1990 GTO interior. The third owner mentions that the car has never seen rain and is willing to negotiate reasonable offers. For $14,995, the 1942 Plymouth Coupe is a street rod ready vehicle with a 340 Plymouth Duster engine. It includes a new Nestir electric power steering and a chrome steering column added in 2016. With pre war production of only 469 special deluxe business coupes, this is a rare find. The 1959 Ford Thunderbird, available for $13,500, runs and drives but needs some work. The paint is chipping and cracking, the interior dash panel is warped, the carpet needs replacing, the driver window is cracked, and the driver's seat needs replacement. The seller is open to negotiations.
priced at $13,500, the 1959 Edsel Ranger is a sedan that runs pretty well and has a great body shape. It needs a tune-up, and the seller has bought the plugs but hasn't changed them yet. This car represents a great piece of history, and the seller is very motivated to sell, willing to consider trades and cash. The 1955 Chevrolet 3100, offered at $30,000, is a beautiful truck with a 235 straight-six engine and a one-barrel carburetor. Kept in almost original condition, it has been converted to a 12-volt alternator and electric wipers. The seat is done in black leather, with the bed in African purple heartwood, which is harder than oak. The owner has enjoyed this truck for 19 years. For $12,000, the 1951 Willys CG3 Ajeep has undergone a frame-up restoration. The engine has been rebuilt with only 25 miles on it. The front and rear differentials, transmission, and transfer case have all been gone through. It features front disc brakes, lockout hubs, a dual master cylinder, all new wiring with relays, a 12-volt conversion, and electronic ignition. The car has no rust, new paint, and a clean title. The 1923 Ford T-Bucket, priced at $12,000, is a kit car with a 350 small-block Chevy engine. It runs and drives, having been switched from a dual carb and intake to a single carb and intake with a new distributor.
the 1932 Ford Roadster, available for $35,000. Features a fiberglass body on ASC rails and a 350 engine with a 350 transmission. It includes tri-power carbs, a lot of chrome, a Ford 9-inch rear end with 355 Posey, a Pete and Jake's chrome super bell axle, and disc brakes. The car is painted Toyota cement gray metallic with custom old-school pinstriping. It has a professionally done custom interior, including dual control heated seats, Stuart Warner wing gauges, and a low car shifter. The car has just over 4,000 miles on a new build and has successfully completed a 500-mile round trip with no issues.